Developing news now. The House this afternoon passed an immigration reform bill that its authors argue also doubles as a jobs package. Dubbed the STEM Act, that acronym stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It would provide visas to some 55,000 immigrants annually to receive degrees in those fields and then use what they learned and apply that to American jobs. House Majority Leader Eric Cantor praised the bill's package. We have seen not only uh, American students, but many, many foreign nationals have come to this country to be educated at our colleges and universities, specifically in the STEM areas in the graduate education programs. The bill that we pass will allow these individuals uh, to have a green card if they get a diploma. Democrats in the White House oppose the bill. It's likely DOA in the Senate. If you support this bill, you're saying that one group of immigrants is better than another. We take away visas and the only means of lim legal immigration from 50,000 people who may not have PhDs or master's degree. Talk about picking winners and losers. Joining us now is Congressman Raul Labrador, who introduced the bill. Congressman, this seems to me to solve a couple of problems at once. It keeps highly skilled tech workers here in the country instead of incentivizing them to go off to other countries to work. It makes it easier for them to keep their families here. It's not comprehensive immigration reform, but it seems like a step in the right direction. Yet, of course, the Democrats don't approve. Why, why not, do you think? Well, because they don't want to really solve the immigration problem, SC. If you understand what's happened over the last few years, the Democrats love to use this tool to talk about immigration, attack Republicans on immigration. But anytime we try to do anything positive on immigration over the last two years and even before under the Bush administration, they vote for amendments and they do things that actually kills any hopes of immigration reform. I think it's time that we actually took a positive step. I realize that this is not everything we have to do on immigration, but it's a real positive first step for us to, to fix this broken system. I was an immigration lawyer for 15 years. I realize there's a lot of things that we have to fix in the immigration system, but this is one of the easiest things to fix, and I think we should do it now. Congressman, I would push back a little bit against your characterization of the Democrats on this issue, but that's a conversation for another time. What I want to talk about is the importance for your party to do something to reverse the thumping that you got in 2012 among Latinos and this concept that the the Latinos may soon become attached to the Democratic Party the way that blacks have become, which would be electorally devastating for the GOP. And, and I agree with you. I think if we don't reach out to the Latino community, to the African American community, to the Asian American community, we're going to have a very difficult time winning national elections. But we shouldn't change our policies. What we need to change is the way that we deal with some of these issues. Immigration should be a conservative position. There's actually a conservative solution to all the immigration problems that vex us right now. I think the Hispanic community is not going to vote Republican because we do something on immigration, but they're going to start listening to the Republicans if we actually fix this problem. Congressman Labrador, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Turning to the other big legislative talk.